Okay, so hello guys, back to grammar here, and in this video, we're gonna start with how to perform a linear regression using the linear regression class defined in MLPack. So, without wasting time, let's get started. First, we'll include uh, bits uh, std c++.h, and or let's include um, iostream because I don't know whether bits stdc++ will be available on windows or not so include ml pack uh, methods regression, linear regression and linear regression.hvp then include ml pack core.hvp and let's actually uh, move this up next using namespace uh, std using namespace the predictors and responses data set from uh, while executing the files so let's do uh, int r argument count and int for character argument vector next what we do is we check if the user has passed uh, uh, less number of arguments so if argc less than 3 then throw run time error and uh, the error will be error less number of arcs passed ok so return sorry exit success I don't know why qt creator is running so slow today and it just said it so um, next we will create a mat uh, predictors and a rovec uh, responses next we load the data so load data predictors uh, sorry data uh, uh, load and argument vector uh, 1 because uh, the argument vector 0 is the name of the executable then predictors then data load argument vector 2 and uh, uh, responses now uh, if you have the input and output or, or predictors and responses uh, in the same uh, CSV or whatever file that contains your data then I recommend you to go through my last video uh, if you haven't seen that that shows how to separate a data from a single CSV file and um, it's just a short method however the video is uh, quite long because I tend to explain each and everything or uh, to make everything simple for you so uh, we loaded the data next i would like to point out here that uh, when the file uh, the, when the data is loaded from the file then it's transport uh, transposed actually so if you have five rows and thousand columns then that will be converted into five uh, sorry if you have five columns and thousand rows then that will be converted into five rows and thousand columns so everything is transposed and when ml pack uh, uh, performs the regression then each it, it will uh, think of each uh, column as a point so uh, keep that in mind uh, and uh, next regression linear regression and regressor you can uh, use any name here regressor or regression or whatever you like so don't use regression because regression is the name of the class here next what we will do is regressor dot train and we'll pass the predictors and responses uh, if you don't want to uh, transpose your data set uh, suppose 
I have my data set like this uh, if I open this I have my data set like this so the down the uh, data set is columns and uh, along the along this way it's rows so when it's loaded it's convert it's transposed and this will be changed to rows and as you can see this one will be treated as a point uh, then two will be treated as a point so uh, if you have data in this way then you don't need to transpose the predictors matrix otherwise you will have to transpose the predictors matrix and generally in most cases uh, you don't need to transpose the predictors matrix because it already comes in that way next we train the regression model and we want to predict something so what you can do is uh, for that you have to create a point uh, vector or a mat point or uh, what you can do since uh, mlpack treats column as a point so you can do call vec and uh, let's do call vec 4 and uh, uh, point next row vec and we want predictions predictions so point is the point that we pass and predictions will contain the predictions that our regression model makes so uh, let's create uh, let's pass point and we will pass random variables because uh, I uh, uh, created this data set and each and every variable in this uh, data set is uh, at random using the random function uh, defined in the standard C++ library. So we will do srand and time null, uh, null pointer next is uh, point we will pass random and we'll pass four times random 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 and that's it uh, we have created the point and next uh, we would like to predict something so th since, since this is uh, just uh, a sample data set uh, that's why i have to do this otherwise uh, if you have the some original data set if you're working on some original data set then you won't be needing this so mm. Let's actually pass time zero. I think S ran say uh, ten, and that was it. I don't like uh, uh, some yellow lines or red lines in my code, other than my defined code. So we have the point, and let's do regressor dot predict, and then pass point, and then uh, predictions last thing to do is print the predictions if we have done each and everything correctly then we will see only one value uh, on our screen printed otherwise there will be many values printed on the screen because uh, when I open my data set uh, as you can see in the preview here uh, it contains only one column as you can see in the this preview here so uh, let's just compile and run the model. So, clear. Oops. I have a habit of uh, typing clear each and every time I open my terminal. That's a had bad habit that uh, came to me when I start using Linux. So, G plus plus main dot cpp main then pass pkg config c flags libs ml pack and armadillo then f open fp compile this main okay yes uh, we passed less number of arguments so main and we have predictors csv and responses csv hit enter and uh, we have the output so this is just a random prediction and uh, uh, you can check it by printing the 
values of point and then uh, using the formula I have the formula here for regression oops till now loading some other id continue open with let's open it with vim and uh, go ahead. so i have the formula here let's copy paste it and i will paste this in comment here so that you can see it and data i is 0 is the i sample so you can change this i to 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 like uh, 0 0.1 Okay, so let's just do that first. I will just uh, set up that. Okay, so I modified this code a bit, and uh, this will print the expected value, the predict prediction value, and the error. I use the computer error to find the error. So let's just do that. Uh, compile and. So as a, uh, I, I think I haven't mentioned that uh, the whole the whole data set contains 10 million samples and it's performing a regression on uh, 10 million by 4 matrix or uh, when it's loaded it's 4 by 10 million matrix and the responses also contains 10 million samples uh, 10 million responses so you think how fast C++ uh, is let's just run that and see one okay data must have seen a number of columns as of any file we did something uh, test data must have seen number of columns as uh, the training file so let's just actually remove that and I don't know why that's working not uh, right, not right now uh, but uh, you can see the expected value and uh, the prediction value so that's how linear regression works and let me just uh, uh, show you how the computer error works so let me pause the video here okay so i think the error is because we performed the whole regression in just one line and not by uh, using the for loop and passing each sample at a, one sample at a time and hence we have to pass the points of size equal to the predictors matrix so we can't do that right now so let's just skip the error part and as you saw uh, the predictions and expected value were exactly the same so that's how fast C++ is and that's how accurate ML pack is expected and prediction so that's it for today if you like the video just give it a thumbs up and if you didn't like the video just give it a thumbs down and also comment the reason uh, why you didn't like the video and uh, if you like the video try supporting me on uh, paypal by donating some amount because uh, that actually helps me uh, for creating next videos like this so thanks for watching